Hi y'all, Chris with Daily Dose of DIY here and I wanted to jump in really quick and show you a fantastic new update Cricut has brought us for Cricut Access users. And that is we can now separate an image into layers in a Cricut Design Space. So we're going to be going over that in this video, how to separate an image, a photograph, a picture, an icon that you have into layers in Cricut. Now this is for Cricut Access members. Of course, Cricut Access is their monthly subscription that gives you cool features like this, separate a photo into layers, plus the fonts and all the images in Cricut Design Space. So I will link that to you down below in case you do not have Cricut Access yet. Let's jump right on into this tutorial. So I am in Cricut Design Space right now and I am going to go to a new project and then I'm going to click upload over on the left menu. And then on the next screen, we're going to click upload image. Now I have this image here. It is an icon of a pie. We can see the multi colors and layers and it is a PNG, not an SVG. So we want to take this PNG image and change it into a multicolored cut file. Once it's in design space, go ahead and click continue. Since it's a PNG, this image does not have a background. You can see the checkered background, but if your image does have a background, you'll want to click the remove background button and it will remove the background for you. And then we can click apply and continue. Now on this screen, you'll see where we have the extra choice now to do multiple layers. So we can choose an image as a single, single layer cut file like this one, or we can do a flat graphic if we were going to do a print then cut to like make stickers, or we can now choose the multiple layers. It will create to create up to nine layers separated by color. So think of your layers as a color. It's going to create up to nine colors. We're going to select this one and click continue. I also want to note that this is still beta. So as Cricut is rolling out these updates, you may not have it for your design space yet, but it will be coming soon. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to access the beta if you really want it now. Um, so you can see for yourself. Let's select this and click continue. And then here is where we can choose the different things. So is our uploaded image clip art or a photo? Mine is a clip art. And then our output style can be either stacked or sliced. So we're going to come back to this in a second. First, I'm going to select my layers because you see it came in as two layers and two colors and my original image had more than that. So if you click down on the down arrow, you can choose how many colors you want to pull from that image. Maybe if you just wanted this to be a four color image you brought in, you could select that and see how it looks. I want all my colors though, so I'm gonna go down the line and I think Seven has all the colors in my original image that I want that will make it look good. So let's try seven and see what it looks like. Yes, that gives us the different oranges and the different teals. So I'm happy with that. Now let's go back to the stacked and sliced. So if you look at the little preview on the top, we are under stacked and we can see each layer is going to cut so that we can easily stack them. And this is you can also click and see what that layer will look like. This is how you would cut it if you wanted to do say a paper craft and you're going to glue it together and stack them on top of each other. You can also choose the output style sliced and what this is going to give you once our preview up here changes. There we go. I changed the view and we can see it'll give us each individual element separately. So there's our just our whipped cream top. There's the top of the pie plate, the top of our pie, the two different colors of teal and the outline and our little um, cutouts all separated. So you can choose if you want to go the stacked style or the sliced style. I think for this one, I will go sliced 
because when I tested this, there was a few other things we needed to clean up. So I will show you that as well. Then we can come under advanced. If we clicked that down and you'll notice that we can smooth, reduce the noise or simplify. And we have our choices of none, low or high. Now you'll probably have to play around on these based on the image. If you can see in here, there's some white spaces in here. So this image does need a little bit of work. I'm going to turn the smooth on to low and to, and see if that helps. And that did reduce those white spaces. So I am happy with that. Next we have reduced noise and that's just going to reduce like the fuzziness in there. Um, on reducing noise and simplifying, that can actually change what your design looks like. So you'll want to try it and see um, the reduced noise might actually give us more white spots. We'll look and see. It didn't give us more white spots, but right in here we can see it lowered that. So it does not go all the way out to the black line and I don't want that. So I'm going to turn my noise back to none. And then on simplify, that can really change the shape of the design. It helps improve cutability, but sometimes it changes it so much. We don't want our cutability improved if it's going to change our design. Let's try low and see what that looks like. And then on this one, you can see again, it reduced the size of this inside and it, it made my dark teal lines look a little bit off and funky and the cream is no longer looking good so I'm going to leave simplify on none as well. Once you have gone through these and made your settings based on what is best for your image you can go ahead and click continue and then on the next page you can give your image a name and tag it and add it to a collection if you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and click upload. So now here it is in design space. And if we come over to the top of the layers menu, we can click on group and then click anywhere on the canvas. And then we can go back to our pie and start separating the layers. Look at that. Like how exciting is this? Just a few steps and we can now take a PNG image and separate the layers and make it a cut file. Now here we chose stacked and here's some of the things I warned you about that you might have to clean up on this setting. I don't want that whipped cream um, with the bottom of my pie. So to fix that, if you get any extras that you don't want in your layer, let's come down here to the bottom of the layers menu and select contour. Contour will show us each of the cut lines that will happen and we want to get rid of those. So this, the top is all like the bottom of the pie, but I'm going to come down to where just those lines are and you can see it turned a light gray on there. So I know we're in the right area. I'm just going to click on all of these lines. And then when we click back on the canvas, you can see that disappeared and we now just have the bottom of our pie plate. So let's take a look at the rest of these layers and see how the others look. Here is the second teal to the bottom of our pie plate and it will fit in there well. Here's the top of our pie plate and actually I don't think, so here's some more cleanup we need to do. I don't think I want all this detail. I just want these three little things here. So let's go back into contour and I'm going to click on everything but those three teardrop shapes and then click back on the canvas and that's all we have left of those. So that is good. And then this one had a few stray lines up there. So back to contour we go and let's click off those stray lines and then back on the canvas. And now we just have a good pie middle color. He goes in there. The pie top looks good. He goes in there. Our cream looks good. He goes right in there. And then our dots. I know I'm not getting these all lined up, but it doesn't have to be lined up perfect in design space because the real lineup happens like when we apply the vinyl, right? And that goes there. So a amazingly easy way to now take your photographs 
and turn them into multi-layer cuts in Design Space. If you do not have this update yet, you can go ahead at, on your name at the top, click the down arrow, and then you want to go to settings. And under general settings, come down to where it says application experience and click on beta and then click done. Now that will probably restart design space for you and go ahead and install that update. And at any time, if you don't want to be in beta mode, you just come back to this general settings and click on live and then done. And it will reset you to the live mode. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fine Cricut tutorials and crafts. And I can't wait to see what all you make with this new feature Cricut has given us.